So one of the first things I want you to do when you get a watermelon home is cut it up. Uh, there's a reason why I asked you to cut it up. People will eat more watermelon if it's already cut up. If you see a big uh, watermelon in the refrigerator, you got to get out the knife, the cutting board. You got to do a whole bunch of stuff. But cut it up first thing. Now for more Memorial Day picnics, look, ice is cheap. Get lots and lots of ice. So how do I cut this up? First of all, I cut off the North Pole and South Pole, and then I just went right on around with the top third of my knife, and I just basically sliced uh, all that rind off. Then you're gonna cut it into nice thick slabs. You got that? Thick slabs. The more you cut the watermelon, the more you cut through the cell structure of those water balloons inside, right? And the more water balloons you cut, that means more water uh, leaches out. So nice thick slabs, nice thick pillars. Look at that. And then this goes into a nice Tupperware. Oh my goodness. Uh, watermelon, the only uh, fruit in the entire world you can eat, drink, and wash your face with all at the same time. I'm Michael Marks, your produce man. Mmm.